Welcome back everyone to Paltas Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 9, Episode 3 of Tainted Grail, Fall of Avalon. Uh, we just wrapped up uh, Episode 2. We're on Day 69 of our quest. Actually, they said that we've actually been in Tatuan for 30 days, but I'm just going to count it by the days that we feel that we've elapsed. Uh, if you see that we've... Tatuan was a maze of several of these cards. We've actually cleared all these Tatuan cards. We're back now in Long Barrow. We've got a men here on the board. Uh, Long Barrow is where we're going to start out. Uh, we've also updated... We had an encounter with Orin last round and learned some secrets of, uh, of Merlin. And now we're going to start out with Chapter 10, uh, Part 1. So this card says... Place this card on top of the active quest pile. Once, the thought of entering Tatuan seemed a task far beyond you. Yet this new enterprise feels even more insane. The last men heroes were built in the Age of Legends. How could you hope to repeat this achievement? If you want to have the slightest chance of success, you will need the same tools Arthur's stonemasons use. So our quest is to gain the Stone Shaper Tools secret card 58. Uh, resolve the chapter 10 part 2 card from the event tech. That's our success. Hint, the Farshire market is famous for its large selection of antiquities and old curiosities. Put the special, um, so we're going to put this here. And then we're going to put the special B on top of the event deck. So we've got special B on top of the event deck. And then we will put 6 minus 2 four random event cards on top of that and we will go forward with this so uh, we get special random events let's jump into it but first a word from our sponsor Pontus Fathom Hobbies is sponsored by the books that we produce we've got a publishing channel Pontus Fathom Press where we are producing the Pontus Fathom podcast series uh, touching on lots of pulp fiction, sci-fi, and fantasy. Our um, most recent uh, offering is the Esoteric Dragon Mysteries, Decoding the Dragon Symbol in Myth and Occult Traditions. Particularly for uh, Tainted Grail, we've got the Dragon and the Grail, Holy Grail Bloodline, Pendragons, and the works of Lawrence Gardner. We've also got the Dragon and the Cross, Alchemical Dragon and Tolkien and George R. R. Martin, and Tiamat, Mother of Dragons, Saturn and the Dragon, and Dragon and the Cross. So this is a great one if you're interested in Arthurian if you're a Lovecraft fan, uh, we've got the Catu Journals out of Lovecraft's Providence, six volumes, August Mulder Howard, Giuseppe Balsamo, featuring Hermeticism of Hastor, Genealogy of Cthulhu, and the Necromancy of Nyarlathotep. We've actually got those collected in a giant omnibus hardcover edition grimoire. Um, if you're a fan of Lovecraft and you want to dig deep into uh, some alternate history and uh, the possibility that Lovecraft is tapped into something real, go check out this. Uh, next up, we've got the Alchemy and Anthroposophy in the Dune Saga, hardcover edition. This is really a send-up to why Frank Herbert's Dune Saga is so popular. We get into Jungian alchemy, we get into anthroposophical themes, and even Herbert's influences of Samuel Butler in his creation of the Bene Gesserit and the uh, Bene Tleilax. Also in this age of upcoming artificial intelligence. We've got artificial psychoanalysis of desiring machines. This deep di dives into the rise of artificial general intelligence, looks at things like AI's uh, formation, but also the human aspect of this. Are we becoming more cybernetic as we move forward? And then finally, our Killingworth Bogman saga. We've got the Lost Carcosa and the Yellow Sign and the Quantum Locksman saga with Dead Sons 11 and Qu Locksman of Quanta. Go check out our books. Uh, you can check out our Patreon as well. We've got a, uh, a number of samples to these. We do some reviews on these if you want to go check it out. helps us support the channel. Uh, you can always go check out our Patreon where you can stay across all of our A Song of Ice and Fire gameplay, our miniature painting for Tainted Grail, A Song of Ice and Fire, Joan of Arc, and uh, tons and tons of videos. You go out to our webpage and you can see all of our videos catalog for all the gameplay. So thanks a lot. Your subscriptions and comments below are well appreciated. Let's get back to the game. Okay, we've got our quest to gain the Stone Shaper tools uh, for Secret Card 58. Let's start out with our Long Barrow adventure here. So we're in Long Barrow. It says, supply the outpost. Discard one item. 
gain wealth in one reputation. An old tower keeps watch in front of the opening mouth of Tatuan. Okay, so this is Long Bear's at the opening mouth of Tatuan. So why don't we explore this while we're here? Uh, we have to discard one item, gain one wealth and one reputation. So we're each going to discard one item. Let's see what we can discard here. Uh, I've got a Norse axe. I've got uh, an masterwork armor. I've got a shield. I've got the a snare and a venture an adventurer's kit ignores heavy rainfall disturbed rest item I guess I'm gonna get rid of this snare for get for, for getting food I guess we're just gonna go with that that seems I gotta discard that item I only have to discard one so I discard this one but we do gain a food from that and a wealth, so a wealth and a wealth. Okay, so now let's go into exploration here. We're going to explore Long Barrow. So that's card 151. Let's jump into it. 151 Long Barrow. It says, Long Barrow. A long cairn rises right in front of the gates of hell. It provides a resting place for hundreds of warriors who perished in the Age of Legends, attempting to seal the conquest of Avalon by destroying the holy capital of their enemies. The four-dweller city never yielded, and the humans eventually gave up. Arthur ordered a watchtower built here atop the graves of his soldiers. Well, this is great because we got the Arthur figure on top of the graves of the soldiers, right? Whoa, this stuff is getting good. Okay, let's see. Uh, the tower served a dual purpose. Its guardians were supposed to endure four dwellers, never return to the lands of men, and the tower itself stands as a sobering reminder that humans' holdings in Avalon are far from safe. Uh, so we can either pay our respect to the tombs. Yeah, let's, let's uh, pay our respect to the tombs. So you pass stone tombs carved in the side of the hill. No expense was spared putting ancient heroes to rest. Rich reliefs depict scenes from the conquest of Avalon, first landings, years spent defending the first farmhold, a disastrous campaign, Merlin's death, and finally, a breakthrough crowned by the assault on Tatuan itself, where Arthur and the mysterious foredweller woman at his side. Wow, nothing about the defeat. Yet you know human armies lost an impossible space of the foredweller capital, and that Arthur was presumed dead until he emerged from the valley almost a week after the last of his knights, broken and defeated. So, basically, the, the, the Tatuan, the mist of Tatuan, is like where the four dwellers come from, and M Merlin, and it's kind of like the mists even in, in, in Excalibur, right? Merlin and Arthur, Arthur went through those mists to fight the four dwellers. We thought he was gone, or people thought he was gone for good, but then he came back sometime de defeated. If you have at least two, caution, go to verse 5. Otherwise, exploration ends. So we do. We can go to verse 5. And it says, uh, You are about to leave when one image captures your attention. Astonished, you touch a relief depicting Arthur with his council of knights. Behind the king in the shadows, five smaller figures stand. You don't know why, but one feels familiar. You feel as... You look on your own transformed image. If you don't have part eight of dreams and prophecies, each party gains two experience. Then gain part eight of dreams and prophecies. So we're going to gain part eight of dreams and prophecies. Part eight dreams and prophecies. Okay. Uh, and also part three of the burning mystery status. Burning mystery status. Part three. Okay. Exploration ends. Okay, so that's going to wrap up the exploration. Let's check out if we have any dreams uh, on this card. No dream status. I think that's just going to wrap up for our day. So 
Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Uh, we will see you in round number four. You can click through as usual. Guys, check out our, our, our Patreon. Uh, like and subscribe this video. Leave your comments below. Uh, we had a super long term last round. I'm going to keep it. I think we're just at a good point to, to, to lock this turn down. And we will jump back into it in round number four. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.